Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, we'll be showing you Bumble Dating App, the ultimate guide. So, we have a lot of topics here to cover, so let's start with how to register and create Bumble account. So, for you to create your Bumble account, what we need to do first here is we need to download the Bumble app. In this case, go ahead and open up the Google Play Store, search for Bumble, and install it. In this case, I've already installed Bumble, let's go ahead and open it up. And from here, once we open Bumble here, what we need to do is we need to create our account. So in this case, we'll be using our mobile number. Let's go ahead and choose use mobile number. And from here, we need to basically enter our mobile number. In this case, this section or this page is actually a protected page, which in this case, you should be able to see a country code. So in this case, choose your country code here as well and just basically enter or type in your, uh, your mobile number. In this case, let's go ahead and enter our mobile number. Now it's going to say you need to verify or they need to verify your account. Now in this case, you need to basically click on OK and proceed on entering a code that you'll be receiving later on. Now they will call you and from then on just enter the last six digits of the number that actually called you. Now in this case, let's go ahead and enter that and just click on the next button at the bottom right, bottom right of your screen. Now from here, we just need to enter a few details about ourselves that includes our first name and our date of birth. In this case, let's go enter our name here. So this is just an example and our date of birth. So in this case, let's just indicate the month and year and day here. So in this case, let's go ahead and proceed to the next page. Now from here, it's going to say you're 27. Go ahead and confirm that. Click on confirm. Now from here, it's going to ask you which gender best describes you. So currently, I am a man. So go and choose that and next to the uh, go to the next page. In this case, uh, want to show your gender, so if you want to show that or if you want to hide that, make sure to turn this off, but I want to show this and just click on next. Now from here, it's now going to ask us to enter our email. Now you could go ahead and enter email here or if you want to skip this page, you could go ahead and do that, but for now, I'm going to enter my email and proceed to the next page. In this case, it's going to say want to keep up to date with old Bumble things. So in this case, you go ahead and click on maybe later or yes, so I choose maybe later. In this case, what brings you to Bumble? So what is your goal here? So in this case, maybe I want to date here. Let's go and choose that and proceed to the next page. In this case, uh, you can choose more than one answer here. So would who would you like to meet? So in this case, let's choose the appropriate or your preference here and just click on the next page. Now, what are you hoping to find? In this case, let's choose a long-term relationship here and proceed to the next page. Now from here, let's talk about you. So what is your height? In this case, go ahead and choose your height here. Just proceed to the next page once you've chosen that. And from here, you just need to enter or basically choose what you're into. So in this case, maybe I want to say I'm into coffee as well. I'm into dogs. Uh, maybe I'm also into, let's just say I'm, I'm into games as well. Let's go choose games here. Type in games or video games. And we also want to choose... Maybe I want to, I'm interested into art as well, and I'm also a horror fan. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and click on the next page here. Now, this case is going to ask you, uh, tell us what value in a person. So, for example, maybe I want to say I value humor as well as maybe loyalty, and maybe I wanted to also use the curiosity here. In this case, let's go ahead and proceed to the next page. Now, let's talk about your lifestyle and habits. So in this case, do you actually drink here? So maybe I want to say I drink sometimes and smoking here, I want to answer no, I don't smoke and proceed to the next page. Now, do you have any uh, kids or family pets? So right now, I'm going to answer don't have kids and kids uh, you wanted uh, or you, oh, you're open to kids. So let's go and proceed to the next page here. So what's important in your life right now? So in this case, what's uh, your religion? So maybe I want to say I'm a uh, Christian here. And politics is, I'm going to say, I want to skip this one. Let's go ahead and skip this for now. So how about causes and communities? So in this case, uh, you could go ahead and choose whatever you want to support here. So maybe I want to say, and religious hate here, and stop Asian hate. So basically, you could ch uh, select anything you want to select here. But in this case, let's go ahead and proceed to the next page. Now in this case, what's, you know, what is like to date you? So you could add prompts here. So if you want to add one, just click on add. And from here, you could go ahead and add your prompts. But for now, again, with any of the uh, features or questions that we answered, you could go ahead and just click on skip. Now from here, it's time to put your face on your profile. So just click on the plus button here. And from here, just choose upload photo. Now click on allow here. And from here, go ahead and choose your photo. 
In this case, let's go ahead and choose my photo here. So let's me, let me just search for my photo. So in this case, let's go choose our photo here. So I want to select this one, select this as well, and just click on save. Now from here, it's going to upload our photo and you can change what is going to be your main here. In this case, you could go ahead and press and hold on it and choose what's the main photo that you'll be showing. In this case, let's go and proceed to the next page here. And from here, you also need to upload at least four photos of yourself. So in this case, let's go ahead and upload our photos here. Now the next page is going to ask you if you want to connect your IG. In this case, if you want to proceed with that, just click on connect uh, Instagram and just log in into your account. But for now, just re let's re choose the not now option and work your own opening move. So in this case, you could choose whatever uh, opening move that you want to uh, say here. So choose the first message that for all your new matches here. So you could choose your own, type your own here. But for now, let's just skip this one. So who uh, women choose who makes the first move here. Click on got it. It's going to give you some tips and some information here. But in this case, uh, this is how you create your account. So as you can see, my account here is fully created, but currently it's actually 35% complete here. So for you to make it 100%, uh, it is recommended that you click on complete profile here in your profile and choose all the options here. Like for example, the about you section, fill out your work, education, gender, bio, opening move, any of the empty uh, sections here, go ahead and enter that. And once you've uh, added all those details, it should increase the percentage on your account or how complete it is. And if you have your account completed or if you have more, uh, for example, you have more uh, details on your account, the more complete and the more matches or potential matches that you'll get. How to use Bumble for beginners. So you might have created your account here for Bumble, but you're still unsure on how to start using it. Well, using Bumble is actually pretty easy. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to open up the application or the Bumble app. Now from the Bumble app, it should redirect you to the main page here, which in this case, you have the option to swipe left or right. Now let's just view some fundamentals here and some of the icons that you see on your screen. Now at the very bottom that you see at the center of your screen, we have our home screen which in this case we could basically just swipe to the right if you uh, like someone or swipe left if you don't like someone. Now in this case when I actually uh, swipe left here, I'm not uh, liking that person. So in this case when I actually swipe right, I'll be able to like that specific person as you can see right now. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and just do that in whatever uh, case that you do. But the next thing that we want to do here is explore some of the things that we can uh, see here. Now, at the left side here, at, uh, next to the home screen, you have uh, the diamond icon. So this UI here is actually the best bees section. Now best bees is actually based on your preferences and your previous matches, meaning you'll be able to see the recommended people that is within your interest. So you might want to uh, basically visit the that person's specific profile or even view their profile and see if you will like them. Now in this case, you could start utilizing this. You could go ahead and just click on their name here if you like them or if not, just click on not for me. Now in this case, at the left side most bottom section, you have your profile. Now your profile should contain your current plan for your Bumble account because if you're not aware yet, they actually have a premium plan for Bumble. So you have the number or the following features here. So if you get premium, you have unlimited likes, beeline, advanced filters, incognito mode, travel mode, and a lot more. Now, in this case, if you want to edit your profile, you could go ahead and just click on the name or the profile that you have there and just click on edit profile here. And you could basically just change a few things here, like for example, profile pro uh, prompts, opening questions, your bio, your work, education, more about me, your height, your exercise, kids, and language I know. So in this case, you could go ahead and just fill out any details that you want here. Remember, the more you input in your profile, the more possibilities of you getting more matches in Bumble. Now in this case, at the very bottom here, you have the heart section. So that heart section actually gives you the, uh, who, the people who are actually interested in you. Like for example, if you want to see the people who like you, because currently this is just for premium users. So if you want to use that, you need to get a premium subscription. 
Now, in this case, if you get a premium, you should be able to see different people who actually likes you. So currently on my account, I have like a bunch of nine people who like my profile here. So at the very right here, we also have the messages uh, section. Now, if someone actually likes you or someone actually matches with you, this is where you'll be able to start conversations. Like, for example, if someone likes you and you also like them, you'll be able to start chatting with them, which is something really, really cool. Now at the top side or top left section of your screen, you'll notice that there is a tree bar icon on it. So if you click on it, you have the following options or type of connections like you do. Now with Bumble, you can actually switch over to a different connection. So if you're looking for a date, choose the date option here. But if you just oh, if you just want to make friends, you could choose BFF. Or if you want to move your career forward, you could use the biz option here. Now whatever you choose here, you'll be able to uh, basically uh change a few things on your profile and again depending on what you choose here you can basically choose a business or bff or date here how to change your name on bumble in this case you might be worried how do you actually change your name in bumble well is it is it actually possible well the first thing we need to do here is we need to open up bumble so let's go open up bumble here and we want to go to our profile so typically at the bottom left you should be able to see a profile icon go ahead and click on it and from here you should be able to see your name now in this case, go ahead and click on your name or your uh, profile picture. And from here, you have the option to see the, or basically access the edit profile option. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, you should be able to see the option to change photos, videos, uh, best photo about yourself, interests, and a lot more regarding yourself. But as you can see, we don't see any information or any option for us to actually change our name. So currently with how Bumble is currently set up, they don't actually allow you to change your name once you've already set up your account because they actually prioritize to uh, basically verify your identity. So they stick what they what you actually give them initially. So you won't be able to change that. So at the very start, make sure to enter your details correctly. But for example, you've changed your name legally and you just really want to apply that into your account. Well, in this case, what you need to do is you just need to create another Bumble account or you need to delete your already existing account here. So in this case, to delete your account, go ahead and click on your profile here. Go back to your profile. Click on the gear icon at the top right. And from here, at the very bottom, you should see the option that says delete account. Now from here again, delete your account and from then on you should be able to reuse your mobile number as a means of creating your account in Bumble. So right now this is how Bumble is currently set up and we won't be able to change much here. Again, you won't be able to change your name unfortunately but you can create a new one. Uh, deleting, your, deleting your account is actually pretty simple. How to see who you liked on Bumble. In this case, how do you see who you liked in Bumble? Is it actually visible? In this case, the first thing we need to do here is we need to open up Bumble here and we need to access our account. Now, typically in the Bumble UI here, we have five options. We have profile, for you, people, liked you, and chat. Now, in this case, the like you section contains all the people that actually liked you. Now, the chat section at the bottom right of your screen, that would actually contain all the chats that you have right now. But the thing here with chats is it actually contains all your matches. So the people that you like that also like you will also appear in here as a queue. Now, if you want to have a conversation in them or with them, you could go ahead and just uh, start a conversation with them, which is something pretty cool. But if you just want to see the people that actually that you actually like, well, in this case, it is not visible in here. So it Bumble only shows the people that actually liked you. So you will you will only be able to see people that you are matched with. Now in this case, uh, if you don't see the person that you're looking for or a specific person in your match queue, then most likely they haven't seen your profile yet or they did not match with you. Now in this case, typically when you actually swipe right on a person, typically Bumble would actually uh, suggest that person in their profile. So in this case, your profile will be suggested on that specific person. You will appear on their screen. So they either swipe left on you or they haven't seen your profile yet. But in this case, that's about it. So 
in this case you all are only you are only able to see the people you've matched with so in this case the people you'd like and also like you how to see who like you on bumble in this case you might be wondering how do you see the people that actually liked you in bumble well it's actually pretty easy so the first thing we need to do here is we need to open up bumble now from here what we need to do is you be able to see a section that says for profile for you people liked you and chats at the bottom section of your screen in this case go ahead and choose the option that says liked you which in this case will contain all the people that actually liked you as you can see their profiles are actually blurred now in this case if you have the premium version or the sub subscription based services of uh, Bumble you'll be able to see their profile but if you do not have that subscription well in this case you won't be able to see them but if you click one of their profile here it's going to redirect you to the uh, section which in this case is going to suggest you to basically subscribe to uh, their plan in this case you have the following option so for one week if you only want access for one week well it's currently it's around three dollars or four dollars depending on the region now you also have one month here which is billed weekly and you also have three months here which is going to be uh 48 or one dollar a week so if you want to get like for example you want to get more out of these out of the subscription i recommend you to get the three months or one month here because you'll be able to save more if you're planning to use it for a lot or for a long long time here now in this case how do we actually use it for free is it actually possible so unfortunately this feature of bumble right now is a paid subscription meaning you won't be able to use it for free but yeah so actually it's actually pretty uh pretty cheap compared to other platforms like for example tinder so tinder is quite costly here so it's a lot cheaper here in bumble if you're going to ask me if you get their subscriptions now in this case you might be wondering what are the other features here when you're using the liked you section you also have the filter at the top right here if you want to uh basically if you have a few things here or edit your filters whenever you're liking or swiping left or right on specific people how to backtrack on bumble in this case the first thing we need to do here is we need to open up our bumble app here and log in into our account now from the main home screen of bumble here which is in the people section typically this is where we swipe left or swipe right so if you if like for example if you want to skip someone you usually swipe to the left and if you like someone you swipe to the right now in this case you might be wondering how to actually uh, basically uh, go back just in case like for example you miss someone you accidentally swipe left here how do you actually revert that well in this case at the top right of your screen in the people tab at the very bottom so at the top right you should be able to see a return button next to the filter button in this case when you click on the return button it would redirect you to the backtrack section now in this case for you to utilize the backtrack option for bumble well you first need to get a plan or a subscription in bumble so in this case they have a bunch of uh subscriptions that you could get here so for example we have the six months here which is 15 of flipping pesos a week so it actually depends on your region so sometimes it's going to be around one dollar so in this case the minimum that they would actually give you is around one dollar here they also have two dollars three dollars so depending on what you want to get now if you want to get one week only you have uh, the option to buy it for one dollar but if you get the six months here you only need to pay like around uh, uh, around 20 cents or 30 cents if you're going to compute uh, compute that so in this case uh, you'll be able to save more if you're going to get the uh, more extensive plan here like six months three, three months or one month here but in this case for you to again get your backtrack and view or uh, basically have a view of your previous uh, swipe left well you need to have a plan here in bumble how to reset bumble swipes in this case you might be wondering how do you reset your bumble swipes so in this case you might be talking two options here so in this case we are going to explore those two options here so in this case when you say swipes and bumble so typically you uh swipe to the left if you don't like them or swipe to the right if you uh really like them in this case let's go open up bumble here in this case in bumble so again if you like someone or if you don't like someone you just basically swipe left or if you like them you swipe to the right now in this case you might be wondering uh, hey i reached the limit on my swipes here 
So that's the first, uh, what we're talking about now, that's the first one here. So what if you reach your limit on Bumble? So you're just swiping left and right, left and right rapidly, and suddenly you reach your limit. Well, in this case, uh, if you reach your limit, typically your swipes will uh, will be automatically restored or will be reset after 24 hours. Like for example, for example, you've reached your limit around 6 p.m. of the current day. So tomorrow, 6 p.m., your swipes will reset. So you could basically start using Bumble again. So we won't be able to do much with that. So this is a restriction within Bumble. So this is to uh, basically calm you down and not basically uh, be addicted on the app itself. So yeah, you just need to wait for 24 hours and your swipes will be automatically reset. But what if you're talking about diff something different? So you might be talking, hey, I swipe to the left on a person that I really like. I really want to find them. So you might be wondering, how do you reset people that is within uh, your uh, profo uh, profile here? You miss them or swipe left accidentally. Well, for you to reset your uh, pop-ups or the people that is appearing on your Bumble here, well, what you need to do here is you just need to basically delete your account. So this is the only way for you to basically encounter them again. So you need to create an account again. So typically, you just need to go to your profile at the bottom left. Click on your settings at the top right here. And from here, typically in the very, very bottom, you should see the delete account option. So typically, you just need to click on delete account. And once you've deleted your account and confirmed, you should be able to create a new account using your mobile number. And once you've created your account, you could go ahead and start swiping left and right again and see if you're able to discover or encounter that person again that you're looking for. But yeah, so currently that is the only ways for you to reset your Bumble sw uh, swipes here. How to change gender preference on Bumble. In this case, how do you change your gender preference on Bumble? Well, in this case, the first thing we need to do here is we need to open up the Bumble mobile app here and we need to log in into our account. In this case, in Bumble, at the top right of your screen, you should be able to see a filter icon. Now, typically, it's going to be a line that has that dot on it. So in this case, go ahead and click on that filter icon. Now, in this page here, you should be able to see the basic filters. Now, in the basic filters, you should be able to change a few things here, like, for example, who you want to date. Now, in this section, you could choose from men, women, or non-binary people. Now, if you want to set or if you want to say that you're open to dating everyone, go ahead and turn that on and it will set everything or it will allow everything for men, women, and non-binary non -binary to actually appear or set your preference uh, to that specific option. Now, in this case, if you're only targeting one gender, go ahead and disable that and choose the gender that you want to uh, date. Now, in this case, once you've done that, go ahead and just go back into your profile or into your people page here in Bumble. And from then on, you should be good. How to delete prompts on Bumble. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you delete your prompts in Bumble? Well, deleting prompts in Bumble is actually pretty easy. So what we need to do first is we need to open up the Bumble mobile app here. And at the bottom left of your screen, you should see your profile. So go ahead and click on the profile icon. Now from here, what you need to do is you need to click on your profile picture at the top left of your screen. And from here, you should be able to see a button that says edit profile. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to scroll down a bit. And from here, you should be able to see a section that says prompts. Now you should be able to see the prompt and the, your answer to that prompt. Now for you to delete that prompt, go ahead and click on the prompt that you want to delete and you should be able to see the following options. So you have update, replace, remove, and cancel. Now if you want to replace this to a different with a different one, go ahead and choose replace. But if you want to remove this, just simply click on remove. And as you can see, it is now removed. You have to know if someone blocked you on Bumble. In this case, how do you know if someone actually blocked you in Bumble? Well, there's actually a number of ways and a number of reasons uh, why or uh, to know uh, why or how someone actually blocked you. Now, in this case, what we need to do first is we need to open up Bumble here. And from here, we need to go to our chat at the bottom right of your screen. 
Now from here, you should be able to see your chats, which in this case, if you're chatting for, uh, with someone, this is where it's going to appear. And most likely, if you don't see their chats here anymore or they suddenly disappear from your chat section, then most likely, those that person actually blocked you. But that is not a guarantee, a sure way that to identify that that person actually blocked you. Now, if a chat actually disappears here, typically, it, they either block you or unmatch with you or they've just basically deleted the app. Now, in this case, if their chats disappeared from the, uh, if their chat disappeared in this section here, uh, it means uh, one of the following three: either they unmatch you, they deleted the app itself, or they blocked you. So currently, that is the only way for you to determine if someone actually blocked you on Bumble. Because right now, Bumble doesn't necessarily give out the direct information on if uh, if someone actually blocked you. But this is the best thing, uh, best thing that we could do right now, and. That's about it. How to cancel a subscription on Bumble. So you might be wondering how do you actually cancel your plan here in Bumble because right now you're just not used to it and you, or you, you don't want to start using it anymore and you want to cancel your plan. Well, it's actually pretty easy. So typically in the Bumble UI here, as you can see on my screen, there's going to be a bunch of settings that you can access. But the only thing that we don't see here is an option to actually cancel our plan, which is something really hard if you're not familiar on canceling it. Now, in this case, I am currently using my Android device here. So with all Android devices, you actually have the default Play Store or Google Play Store or App Store here on an Android device. Now in this case, for you to cancel your plan for Bumble, you need to visit our App Store. Now in this case, go ahead and look for Play Store here. Go ahead and open it up. And from here, we need to access our subscriptions. Now at the top right of the screen, you should be able to see your profile icon. Go ahead and click on it. And from here, what we need to do is we need to go to Payments and Subscription. Now from here, you what you need to do is you need to go to the subscription section and under subscription, this is where you'll be able to see your current active subscription. Now if you have Bumble Premium into your account, what you need to do here is just click on the cancel option that you see under the active section if you see Bumble there. Now just a few reminders here, make sure that you have the current or the default or the email address that you use to download Bumble here. Now in this case, if you don't have the correct account on it, make sure that you click on your profile here, click on the drop down icon and choose the appropriate account here. And from then on, choose to or basically click on the payments and subscription section and find Bumble and see if you can cancel it. Now in this case, this is how you actually cancel a Bumble premium subscription. How to delete a Bumble account. So for you to delete your Bumble account, what we need to do first is we need to access our Bumble profile. So in this case, go ahead and open up your Bumble mobile application. And from here at the bottom left of your screen, go ahead and click on the person icon. Now from here, you should be able to see your profile. Now in this case, what we need to do next is we need to click on the gear icon, which is located at the top right of your screen. Now from here, this will actually redirect you to your settings section. Now what we need to do next is we need to scroll to the very bottom until you see the section that says delete account. Now in this case, go ahead and click on it. And from here, choose the appropriate option for your for deleting your account. So in this case, you have found in a relationship, billing issues, dissatisfied with service or other. Now in this case, choose whatever here is going to choose other. And from here, just click on delete account to confirm your choice. And from then on, you should be able to delete your Bumble account. How to recover block Bumble account. In this case, you might be wondering how do you how do you recover a block Bumble account? Well, having your account block in Bumble actually means a really really heavy thing here. So you might have violated one of their policies or terms of use. So that's why your account was blocked. So typically, you will get this notification here. So in this case, this is the notification that you'll be receiving if your account is blocked. Now the option or if your account is blocked in Bumble, this type of uh, option or uh, basically ban or block is actually a permanent uh, one. So meaning this is a permanent thing that will be attached in your account. But if you still want to recover your account, well in this case you need to reach out to support. So for you to do that, you need to exit your uh, mobile phone here and from here you want to go to your browser. In this case, what you need to do is you need to go to uh, Google here. And from here, we just need to type in the following, which is going to be Bumble support. Now look for the option that says, does Bumble customer support have a phone number? Go ahead and click on it. 
Now from here, it should redirect you to this article here, which is under privacy and safety, reporting member safety concerns or incident. In this case, go ahead and scroll down a bit here and you should be able to see number two here that says email our support team. Go ahead and click on the here uh, link. In this case, it will redirect you to the section here that says that you need to fill out some information. Like for example, suitable subject for your problem. So in this case, maybe I want to say I want to report a option, see why I was blocked. Enter your name here, your email, and what mode are you using and what platform are you using. In this case, select the appropriate options here and basically describe what is currently happening on your account. Now, for example, uh, maybe you've accident or you've uh, unintentionally blocked on Bumble or you do not agree why your account was blocked. You could basically defend yourself here and state your reason that you do not know why your account is blocked or explain yourself uh, why this uh, option or this block or ban is not appropriate for account because you haven't done anything. Basically, explain your side here and once you've explained your side, you can go ahead and click on the send message option and they this is what actually send a support request from Bumble and from then on you just need to wait for them to respond to you and uh, properly help you with this problem here. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.